I just want to know my daughter's killer is behind bars. A family devastated. A young mother shot and killed on the city's west side near Long's Bakery. A vigil tonight for 28-year-old Jasmine Moore killed in a weekend shooting on Tremont Street. We're learning this is a woman with a lot of plans, recently achieving a big accomplishment, and she leaves behind a son. RTV6's Matthew McClellan spoke to Jasmine Moore's family. He joins us live tonight. Matt. Good evening, Erica. Jasmine Moore had just earned her certificate of cosmetology in hopes of building a better life for her son. Now the six-year-old faces life without his mother. I had to tell a six-year-old that his mother's never coming back. Yeah. How do you do that? That was the hardest thing in my life I had to do. Stephanie Tennant holds her grandson Jace. <laughs> trying to comfort him one day after his mother was killed. Keeps asking for his mama. He just want his mommy back. Around 3.30 yesterday morning, Metro Police found Jasmine Moore on Tremont Street. She'd been shot in the torso. Her mother says she was leaving a nearby nightclub when the shooting started. They heard shooting and everybody started running and my baby had to be the one to get killed. Medics rushed her to Methodist Hospital where she died from her injuries. Detectives are tracking down leads to find the person or people who took her life. Whoever you are, please turn yourself in. Just show me you got a heart. A plea from a grieving mother now raising her grandson. Jason's gonna be right here with me. It's all I got of my daughter. It's all I got left. Moore's family called her pumpkin. She loved doing hair. She loved doing makeup. She loved fashion. She just like her mother. She was my mini me, my twin. Her older sister broken hearted. Part of my heart, my baby. <laughs> It's a hole in this family right now. Part of my heart. Holding each other through their grief, Moore's family is asking anyone who knows something about the shooting to come forward. I just want to know my daughter's killer is behind bars. Now the family tells me they do not believe Jasmine was targeted, calling her a victim of circumstance. They say she had no enemies and was not involved in any trouble. Reporting downtown, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.